Welcome to Accounting 201 Online. I'm Tom Harmer, your accounting professor, and I'm delighted to be with you this quarter to take you through this learning process. Now, Accounting 201 is unique from all other classes out there in that it shows you the big picture in accounting. In this class, you're going to learn how to set up an accounting system how to classify transactions properly in conformity with what's called generally accepted accounting principles, enter those transactions into the accounting system, summarize them, and then produce financial statements which are also in conformity with generally accepted accounting principles. So you're going to see the big picture in accounting in this class. If this is the only accounting class you take, one, it's on your resume, it's on your transcript, you have accounting education, and this is the big picture. So that will open doors for you when you're looking for jobs out there all by itself. Now, if you continue with accounting, you finish the accounting series, you maybe go to another university and get a bachelor's, and then you get higher and higher credentials all the way up to a CPA certificate. Any one of those, every one of those credentials will open more doors for you in the end. But this class covers the broad picture. We don't go very deep into anything, but we learn the basic accounting principles and how an accounting system works. And then we go into other topics such as inventory control, management of cash, and other types of items. But the primary thing is the big picture in accounting. Now, of course, it's required in your 201, 202, 203 series for transferring these credits to a university. I'm going to walk you through our online environment. Our online environment includes two websites. The first one, of course, is your Canvas site provided by Seattle Central and that is our home site where I communicate and we communicate you send me messages I send you assignments everything's there I'm going to walk you through that and we also have another website called Cengage Now. Cengage Now is provided by the publisher of our textbook and Cengage has all kinds of questions and exercises for, for you to do to learn the accounting principles that we're teaching. The thing nice about Cengage now is it gives you immediate feedback. I provide practice problems in Cengage now where you can do all the exercises that, that Cengage provides and you can get feedback as to whether you're right or wrong and in some cases it shows you how to calculate it. So that's practice. Then I have assignments I give which typically I can give three attempts. So you get one attempt to do it. If you get it all right, you get 100%. If you need help, you've got hints and it can give you hints, but it drops you down 5% points on that particular problem. And then if you need help again, it'll take you down another little notch, but you get the feedback. So you're learning as you go. So you get three attempts on homework. Then we go to quizzes where there's only one attempt and it's timed. And those are uh, higher point value exercises. The homework is more like practice with some points for it, but your quizzes are where you gain your points. So you've got Canvas is where the class resides, and I do have Excel assignments in Canvas. I call those Canvas assignments. They are in the Canvas site. I'll show you how to get to those. And then you have Cengage Now assignments. All assignments are included in the calendar in Canvas. And I'll show you that next. So let's go take a look at the Canvas website and then a look at the Cengage Now website. See you there. Okay, to recap here, welcome to Accounting 201. And we utilize two websites. We've got our Canvas site provided by Seattle Central. Canvas.seattlecentral.edu will get you there. And then our homework manager is Cengage Now. Login.cengage.com gets you there. 
So let's go to the explanation and walkthrough on Canvas and then we'll end up with a walkthrough here in Cengage now. Okay, here we are. You've logged into canvas.seattlecentral.edu and you've gone to your Canvas site. The courses where your instructor has actually set the class up in Canvas will appear and of course I have and you've selected uh, our Accounting 201 class and here you are. So I'm going to walk you through here how this is organized. Now first of all I want to mention I had, a, had some real problems setting this up uh, this last week because all of a sudden Canvas wasn't working well with Firefox and it always worked better with Firefox than Internet Explorer in prior quarters. So uh, the support people told me go ahead to Chrome. So I am in Chrome and if you have issues with things being spread out on the screen and so their text is real small and all those sorts of problems, try a different browser and uh, recommended at this point the Chrome browser is working well and that's what I'm demonstrating here. So, so here we are in the home page and just to give you an overview, uh, I've organized this class by the week and that in Canvas terms is called by the module. So this is a module here, this is the header for the module with my explanation of everything that's happening in this week and here are all of the assignments and projects and reading materials that are in the week. Now, if you click on that, it will summarize it, okay? So that actually you can see the whole quarter, everything that's required right there for the whole quarter in a summary narrative format, okay? And then you can come to it and click on it and see the individual assignments in that in that particular week. Now also these are available in your cell phone so I'm showing you here see I have that same thing where I've got the narrative there and you can see all my different weeks come back here I can push on it and then it will break, give me all the assignments. Now one thing I might mention is that I've had people try to submit Excel assignments via their phone and it, it, it's a problem doesn't work. So plan on doing your Excel assignments uh, on a computer on the internet. Okay. So we have that. So right down the center are all the weeks. Okay. And so we have, uh, and then on the left sidebar here, we have, okay, you've got your calendar is one that you will, once you're in the class, the two areas you use in this sidebar are the calendar and the inbox. Calendar will show all of the assignments that are in each one of these modules in a calendar format. Okay, if I click over there, then here I am. I've defaulted to September. We start the last week of September, so I'm going to move over to October because it always shows the last week of the prior month is the top line. So this is September here, and then here's October going here. So here are my comments to you that I'm giving to advise you get ready for this plan on doing that uh, read this uh, these are comments also you have anytime you see an A plus that's an assignment that's a canvas assignment it's typically an Excel assignment that I have given it's populated here so all the assignments that are in canvas show up in the calendar and then I populate the calendar also with a message about any Cengage Now assignments that are due in the Cengage Now program, which I'll be showing you after uh, I've shown you the Canvas. Okay, so here we are in Canvas. This is the calendar, so you can see what's going on by the week right here. You can actually click on, let's go ahead, I'll click on this assignment. See that? You can actually see the assignment. Okay, and you can click on it again and you can go into the assignment so you can access your assignments that are Canvas assignments directly from the calendar. Okay, oops, get rid of that. Okay, uh, these other ones here where I've just made comments, you know, you click on those, it's only a, a, a text entry. It's not interactive with anything. So, 
there you go there's your calendar now I'm going to come back to my courses and fall 201 come back to the home screen there all right so there we go now okay the other thing in this far left sidebar is the inbox that's where our email communication is for the class and that's what I want you to use to communicate with me as your instructor during the quarter is this inbox because that way I keep all of our conversations in track right here and I will respond faster if you send me messages through the inbox than if you send it to my email site. Okay, thank you. All right, okay, th this next sidebar has announcements here. Announcements, at this point I just have uh, the one that I'm sending out at the beginning of the quarter and then during the quarter they accumulate so any announcements that I've sent will be here for you to see but announcements are emailed directly to your personal email site whatever email you registered in this class will receive that announcement so if you've changed your email address and aren't watching the one that you've registered with the school then you're not going to be getting my announcements so you might want to go to that email and have them forwarded to whatever email site you're actually using okay so yeah at the beginning of every week I send you the week's lecture it's also in here like we come here to week one it says uh, introduction to class and first week expectation I will be emailing you that also so you can if you read it there then all you have to do is view it here okay so but you can go review assignments here you can click on it and see the other people in the class over here the syllabus I don't put here because it doesn't allow me to import my document so I put my syllabus here in the welcome module so this welcome module here is uh, what you're doing to get ready for the quarter so I'm sending this to you and making this whole class available like on Saturday so you should be able to do these things in advance and then not be spending so much time when you should be studying doing these administrative details okay so okay so we continue here so these are in chronological order we begin with the welcome section that prepares you for week one which starts on Monday but you before you can get into week one you have to have done everything in the prior module it's called a prerequisite to get into the next module so if you try to get into the next module and it won't let you in you need to be sure you've viewed the pages that require review and you've submitted the assignments that have to be submitted okay so in this case here this quiz has to be submitted in the welcome module before you can begin and access week two or pardon me week one okay so so now like here we've got the syllabus let's go ahead and take a look at this first section here because I have a lot of information in one particular tab so I have my assignment instructions to read the syllabus there's also videos in the syllabus we'll take a look at it and uh, the, the walkthrough video of this class is also embedded in the syllabus which you've probably seen before well you're seeing it right now okay so it, how to submit questions to your professor whether you're doing it from a Mac or whether you're doing it from a PC I want you all to read that and it teaches you how to do a thing called screenshots so that when you're in canvas or you're in Excel and you have a you're confused about something and you're asking me a question you take a picture of it that's a screenshot and you and you put that in a word document and you send me the word document with the screenshots and your comments or your question about the issue so I run into that a lot and, and uh, so I just like to remind you to be sure to read that document and learn how to do screenshots and always attach a screenshot when you ask me a question about something okay let's see so I have canvas instruction videos here there's a whole document with five or six different canvas videos to help you if you don't have experience in canvas to help you out there there's some there's some sit engage now tips for our homework manager and it's where we have homework assignments practice and um, and also quizzes and midterms and the final so 
Okay, there's our support line. If you have problems registering in Cengage, it doesn't do any good to call me because it's their people that can make it happen right. They are actually there in control. So call them. Also, there is a, they have a chat place you can go, which is 24-7. Okay, I have listed here also accounting tutoring available on campus. And here's another a YouTube account tutoring, a person who is uh, an accounting instructor who set up a very user-friendly perspective of everything we're learning just from a different perspective. So if you're confused from what we've done in the textbook and my particular videos and approach, you can see another approach there. Okay, and then I down here at the bottom, I have all of the uh, prior quarter students uh, evaluations of the class. I have the student evaluations right here. And I'm providing it to you because, you know, they've made suggestions and yes, sometimes some complaints. And and I want to get rid of all of them. I want to take care of those things. I take them serious. And and I, I'm giving extra credit to any of you that will advise me of errors you find in any of my, the Canvas site, any of my Excel assignments, any of my videos, you advise me of an error, I'll give you at least two points of extra credit for that. And by earning extra credit, you can also become what I call uh, executive assistant. Because you've, you've taken the time to report the problem to me, even if it's in a complaint format, you reported a problem to me, get an extra credit. And um, and if you do a number of those, then I see that as a person who is, uh, you know, has executive qualities. And uh, at the after the course is over, if you have um, registered enough extra credit points here, I'll give you a glowing referral as an executive assistant in my class. So, also here, this last quarter, we each student is has an extra credit uh, opportunity of keeping track of their class hours. And so I have an Excel spreadsheet here for each week. And if you track your hours by the week, at the end of the quarter, I get that and I give you extra credit for doing that. And it allows me to see the amount of time that is being spent where in my class. And I don't want to make this class overburdensome. And I, I actually, I feel quite comfortable with the workload and the assignments now. But you can see what the prior students have uh, have done, how much time they spent in the class. And let's see. And then you have the grades from the prior quarter. So you can see how all of this work is summarized and calculated to your final grade in the class. And um, so it's an accounting class. So there is clearly a very uh, objective accounting system for calculating your final grade. And it's a combination of your scores you earn in Canvas and the scores you earn in Cengage. They're both summarized, combined, and averaged into a score for the class. Okay, so then here's the one where it combines Canvas scores and Cengage scores, and here's just the Cengage scores by themselves.
Okay, so here we are back at the home page. And you finished reading the syllabus, doing everything in the welcome module, including the quiz on the syllabus and Cengage Now. I've provided, I'll provide assignments in one week, which just are viewed, but are due in the next week. So here's Excel practice. And then you come down here to the next week and we have the Excel quiz is due, okay? So you don't submit practice, you submit the assignment, which is the quiz, and you do it here. But quite often I'll show an Excel assignment in one week and it's just for viewing, just to say, hey, hello, start working on this now so you don't wait till the due date to start work on it, okay? So you've done everything in the welcome module and therefore it lets you into week one, okay? Then you're gonna, this introduction I've already emailed you, but it does say you have to view it. So open it up, take a look, and then you can move on to the next one since you've read the email I already sent you. Here's a summary of the chapter, the learning objectives. You're gonna go in there and review that. Steady questions, I just provided this as a, a just for your own optional review. It's the kind of questions that are, that are being asked about this material in chapter one. Okay, now here in every chapter has its own um, lectures, lecture videos. These are PowerPoints that are narrated. They, they're identical to the book. Uh, some people will play these while they read the book at the same time, uh, or you can do them separately. I assign them for you to do. Of course, it's up to you whether you do it or not. Some people, they can read it. They're good. Some people like the audio with that, and so that's good here. And then I also I provided here that YouTube uh, tutorial as another option because some people like to see it from a different perspective, and so I provided that there. But this is e-lecture. That's every section of the book has, a, has its lecture. And then they have uh, animated examples. So they'll, they'll do an exercise and show you everything and explain it verbally as they do it. It's really nice. And sometimes I'll embed those in my Excel assignments that I give you. But in my Excel assignments, I create those all myself. So and you'll see those when you get there. But these are the lecture videos and they are in every, uh, in every chapter and made available for you there in that one page. Okay, now let's take, there's, to get to Cengage now, let's talk, talk about that. We've covered basically everything here of importance in Canvas. Okay, so let's take, I'm at the bottom down here and I clicked on that link. I've provided direct access into Canvas right here so you can log into it right from within Canvas. But you can go to it directly yourself. It's login.canvas, or pardon me, Cengage.com, and then the password. I'm gonna to go to it separately because I don't have my password memorized here, but you will have. Okay, so we'll take a look there at, Cen at Cengage now. Okay. So here we are in Cengage. This is the publisher's homework manager where I have made available practice, homework assignments, and quizzes, okay, for you and midterms and, and eventually the final. So you see here, when you come into it, it defaults to assignments I can take. That doesn't include all of them. If you click on all, it will show you all of the practice, okay? So here's practice true and false and practice exercises. When I give assignments, I separate true and false typically in the homework because you don't need two at more than one attempt to do true and false. I mean, so I separate the true and false. There's only one attempt there, but on the homework exercises, there's three attempts. So, and by the way, all of the questions that are available for me to use in quizzes, homework assignment, and exams are also in practice. So if you did everything in practice, you would have done the all the exams that happen in this course. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. And so in practice, you can do exercises and, and it'll uh, give you feedback, tell you if you're right or wrong, and in some cases, it'll explain how to calculate things. So these are practice. There's no points for practice. There's no scoring. I don't keep track of it. It's just there for you to practice. Okay, now here's 
True and False Homework, Chapter 1. This is due, let's see, where's my due date here? Oh, there it is right here. Chapter 1 homework is due October 1st, which is Thursday. So you need to read Chapter 1 and do the True and False and Cengage and have it submitted uh, before 11 o'clock Thursday night. Okay, see, there's your time. The due time's right there, and there's your due date. So there's homework exercises. Here's the quiz on Chapter 1. Practice for Chapter 2. Uh, then homework for chapter two, et cetera. And that keeps going for uh, for the in all all sections of the book. Okay, so the videos that I've provided for you in the welcome section on Simgage walk you through how to use everything there. It's a great a great tool for learning. All right, so that's Simgage. So ideally, before Monday, you would come into Canvas, as I'll make it available in, uh, by Saturday, read the syllabus, register and Cengage now, do the quiz, start practicing your Excel, because you have to know Excel for this class. Okay, that's your, that's your start right there. And I uh, just welcome you again to Accounting 201. It's going to be a great quarter. You're going to learn a lot. You're adding value to your life. Thank you very much.